Happy New Year, CrossFit Ivy. Here we are, January 1st, 2015, the first day of our No Hurdles and No Girdles in 2015 challenge. That includes our health, our diet, and our goals for 2015. As I told you guys on New Year's Eve, and congratulations for doing such a great job with Murph. I'm proud of every single one of you. But as I told you yesterday, I was going to blog my journey and stand as an example so that you guys, whether I succeed in my goals, which I want to do, or whether or not I uh, fail, that I can still be an example for you to show you how you can uh, find a pathway to accomplish your goals. So let's get into it. Uh, day one here, I'm going to go over the goal sheet and I'm going to uh, open my life up like, a, uh, like I'm opening a diary so that you can see uh, my goals and what I'm looking forward to do. Uh, so just one sec, let me get them. Okay guys, I got them. Now page one, and I'm sorry I'm holding this tablet. <laughs> I don't know the best way to record, but maybe I'll figure that out as we go along. But the first page that um, we have on our goal sheet, and you guys need to get them if you have not gotten them, is um, our overall fitness and lifestyle inventory. And the reason that we want to go over this first, and we want to be as honest as we can on it, is because we need to know uh, what our life is like, what our areas of improvement need to be, and what things look like just as they stand right now. Um, I don't believe that you can make any progress unless you know exactly where you are right now. So the categories are body and health, lifestyle, nutrition, general physical skills, body weight exercises, weightlifting exercises, gymnastics, and metabolic conditioning. So what you want to do with each of these areas is go through as honestly as you can and rate one through five of how well you think you're doing in the areas. Um, I can't uh, emphasize uh, how important it is to be honest. Now, I was going to show you this. I don't know if I'm going to scan it in and insert it into the video, but um, I got a lot of ones. I got a lot of ones, and I'm probably... Uh, looking at a lot of areas of improvement, especially um, where my ones are, and I wanted to put negatives, was, was in that category of m metabolic conditioning um, and nutrition. There's a ton of ones in nutrition. I don't think there was an area where I got over three. Um, in body and lifestyle, I surprisingly got over uh, five on one of them. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I mean, body and health. Um, for lifestyle, um, I managed to get a couple fives, but in areas that I don't think um, are necessarily productive areas, like my free days with no work uh, and no email, and uh, my me time activities. I got fives on those. Otherwise, I'm looking at ones and twos. Um, nutrition, well, like I said, I didn't get above a three on anything. Uh, general physical activities, I didn't get above a three on anything. Body weight exercises, amazingly enough, I got some fours. I got uh, one... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six fours and one five. So, um, oh no, I'm sorry, that goes over to weightlifting. So I got one four on body weight exercises. And I gave myself fours and five on the weightlifting, not because of how much I can do, but because I think that um, in working with my CrossFit kid, I have uh, the form down very well. So uh, now it's time to actually add the uh, rest of it to that formula. Um, gymnastics, I got two fives um, in the headstand and handstand area. Uh, otherwise, uh, <laughs> um, and everything else, uh, ones, even, even including metabolic conditioning. Now, I put that I got maybe three because I think I can handle the rower. But other than that, um, that's where I'm at. I have tons of area improvement, and I guess that's a good thing. It's not like it's hard to find somewhere to start. Next, um, we go on to the second part of your sheet, which is uh, what do you want? To, what do you want? Um, and this covers your areas of improvement. Um, you would give a description of how things are for you in those areas currently, and what you envision um, for yourself in the future. Um, the area one that I want to improve is my diet, um, and to be healthier on the inside and have more energy. Right now. The status is, I don't even think about it. And I'm tired, I'm sluggish, I feel I have some chronic uh, issues, uh, some stress, and a lot of aches and pains. I can probably go away 
um, if I improve my diet overall from the research that I've been doing. Um, I envision myself actually planning meals, sticking to the meals, because a big thing that I do, I will make the meals or I will buy the food and then I will then go and buy me some Captain D's. Um, then the food rots and now I'm even in the negative because I spent the money on, on the meals from the store and then I went to Captain D's. Um, I want to be more energetic, happier, and looking forward to doing my tasks instead of feeling like, oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god, I want to do this. I don't want to think about it. Okay? The next area is improve overall physical health. So, I'm reading it. <laughs> I don't want to be physical. I don't like it. It's like I had a fear of it since I was a child. And that was actually because I had a... Um, a calcium deposit growing in my hip that I didn't know about and it caused me a lot of pain whenever I did exercises and I didn't discover that until I was in my early 20s and by that time I had done everything possible in the world to get out of physical activities and I didn't develop um, a healthy uh, physical um, exercise lifestyle when I was younger so and then after the surgery to get the calcium deposit out of my hip um, I spent a lot of time being immobile and it hurt to, you know, to even try to do it. And I just never, I never got my physical lifestyle together. Um, what I envision is I want to walk my dogs routinely. Um, some of those laziness, but it's also pain because of my leg. Um, I want to run with them. There's nothing uh, better than for me to see them running and doing what they want to do. And I'm actually doing it with them. So I envision myself being able to run with them. Um, I want to complete some wads. I want to do them, uh, hopefully at RX, and um, I want to actually keep up with my routine. I'm the best starter of things in the world, and <laughs> I barely finish things. Okay, um, there's a couple more things, but I um, don't want this video to be too long. Uh, so the next thing is uh, the clubs that I have listed below. Um, we have a new running and endurance club. Olympic Lifting Club, Lifestyle and Nutrition Club, a Competition Club, and a Mobility Club. When you turn in your goal sheet, please check which one uh, or ones that you are interested in. I have checked Running and Endurance, Lifestyle slash Nutrition, and Mobility. Mobility is mobility is crucial if um, you're going to do your work and you're not going to be you know suffering pains. Um, you're going to need the flexibility for that. You're going to need the full range of motion for that. Um, what causes injury in the gym so much is that people don't have mobility. They didn't stretch properly before their exercises and uh, warm their bodies up. And then they're biting off more than they can chew. And CrossFit always <clears throat> advocates form over intensity. So before you go gung-ho into all that intensity, you must have that form correct or you will be injured. Okay, so next, <laughs> the final page in the back is getting specific. This is part three. So in getting specific, what we want to do is plan some goals. And these goals need to be SMART goals. And that means that they need to be, like I said, specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely so we don't want to say I just want to feel better because that's way too broad um, that's like eating the whole steak instead of cutting it up into pieces and taking it one bite at a time um, you would have to break that I just want to feel better down into more specifics um, like we did in part two and then you can pull goals from there every step is trying to pull from the big general, which was page one, down to the specific in part three. So, mine are, because of how I feel, I need to properly assess my health. That's uh, step one, which means I need to go to the doctor, I need to get my physicals, and I need to find out where I actually stand. That's a very specific goal, that's actionable, uh, that's timely, I can measure that, I can uh, just call a doctor make a dang on appointment. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty simple goal. but. Um, it becomes complicated for me because I don't want to find out where I am. I'm kind of afraid of what the doctor will say. Um, so I have to get over that hurdle because there are no hurdles in 2015. 
um, develop my clean diet, which is what I'm uh, doing by uh, becoming a part of this challenge. And I need to give it a real chance and not to sabotage it. So I can sit down and take steps, which is going to be uh, part four, taking the steps to develop the clean diet. Um, I need to get enough sleep. So I need to set my sleep schedule and I need to stick to it. Because like I told you guys, I am a terrific starter, but not finisher. Um, the next thing says improve running. So um, I'm going to join the running group. That's uh, how. Uh, I'm going to be walking my dogs on a regular schedule. I'm not going to allow laziness and aches and pains and being tired to um, keep me from doing that. Because if I'm getting the right amount of sleep, there's not a problem getting up and walking the dogs. If I'm up till 9 a.m. <laughs> and then I got to be at work, then yeah, there's a problem with the time to watch to walk the dogs. I also need to set um, an actionable time goal of how far I want to be able to run within a certain time period. Um, my next goal is to begin my level one training. Um, that means I need to set up my WAD schedule. We already have uh, in step four that we need to be there three times a week. Um, I'm in a slight disadvantage because of my arm. So I'm going to be taking care of my arm so that I can um, do my WADs so that I can build up my strength and learn what I need to learn so I can take, get, my, get to the certification. Um, I put on here, I think that means I need to construct some of the clubs that we had on the other page. That's my next step. Um, five steps or five goals or five tasks daily. Now this is very important. If you guys um, are still listening because we're 12 minutes in, um, you need to uh, do five 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 action steps a day whether that's at night before you go to bed or first thing in the morning write down five things you need to accomplish on these goals whether it be something as simple as because you know you're eating a healthy diet step one make sure you eat right today um, make sure you get uh, whatever your body weight half of that in water um, make sure you schedule your wad whatever your five steps are that uh, you can do that day uh, maybe you need to start research on something. Um, write them down and check them off and evaluate uh, at the next time you sit down whether or not you did your steps. Um, and blog my journey, which is <laughs> what I'm doing right now. And I hope you guys are not talking too fast. Um, I hope I'm looking at the camera. This is the very first time I have um, ever filmed myself talking. So I hope that... Um, that this works because this is the video I'm going to use <laughs> um, but uh, I will watch it and look for ways to improve it um, next is step four of course and that's um, these are the bigger steps that you're going to take like uh, find a partner and join one of the member clubs um, get on my fit pal so you can um, so that my fit it's either my fit pal or my fitness pal and that's an app that will help you monitor um, your diet steps. And diet is not diet because we lose weight. Diet is the type of food that we specifically need to eat for us, whoever we are individually, that will help us attain our physical health goals. So mine are, again, develop my meal plan. I need to develop uh, my times that I'm going to shop. Um, and my times that I'm going to do my meal preps. Um, I need to set up massages or something for this arm. Because I know you and nobody more than me. And maybe my mother is sick of hearing about this arm. Okay. Um, and I need to set up my sleep schedule. I need to always be reviewing my steps, checking them off, and creating more steps to get to the ultimate goals. And that's it. I think um, I'm going to go shopping in a little while. Um, I'm a little bit behind because, <sighs> let me tell you guys, I'm just going to be honest because that's what this journal's about. My kitchen is a disaster. It is a complete disaster. 
because I've been doing all this other research and trying to find y'all stuff on e uh, eBay. Trying to, well, I've been doing eBay too for CrossFit. Um, but I've been trying to find y'all the, you know, the food, the steps, the, the paperwork. So I've been trying to develop this plan. And again, I hope I'm not talking too fast. Y'all let me know if I'm talking too fast because I have a tendency to do that. Um, but I ain't had no time to clean my house and my kitchen. So, you know, like I'm stirring my coffee with knives, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, um, I need to clean that and that's what I'm doing. Um, that's what I've been doing this afternoon is getting the kitchen in order so that I can actually think to cook in there. So I'm probably going to make myself, um, some paleo chili because I think that'll probably last me through the weekend. That's another one of my, um, um, hurdles that I have to figure out how to get over is that I'm single. And so, um, when I shop or when I get ready to cook, it's going to be the same exact meal for like, it could be eight days. So I got to figure out how to shop and cook and freeze stuff and package this stuff up and keep it from going spoiled. Cause I certainly do not have money to lose, um, by buying this stuff and then it goes bad. So I'm going to clean my kitchen, I'm going to go shopping, I'm probably going to make this chili, probably going to have um, maybe eggs and bacon, um, and this chili, and maybe some salad, and I probably need to throw some fruits in there, because I'm going to need some sweets, and um, that's probably what I'm going to do this week, and try to stay out of Captain D's, and try to stay out of... Um, Zaxby's. I've been on that Captain D's and Zaxby's <laughs> lately. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to try coconut milk and nothing else in my coffee. So, you guys are going to hear from me. Um, I'm going to try to do two, maybe three times a week. Um, so, you'll hear from me. And um, tell me what you're doing. Tell me what what's going on with you what you're doing and um, what's helping you and let me know what's going on with your goal sheets I need them in by I think I told people next Friday so let's get them uh, filled out if you have any questions about how to do that come to me and we will get through it all right you guys day one shut up don't you understand the water is freezing and there aren't enough boats. Not enough by half. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Not the better half. 